Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So we're ready to go. I think we've got everything we need. So let's go to our next planet. I'm just deciding which one I want to go to. I'm not sure yet. We'll get into the rocket and we'll find out when we're there. So let's right click the rocket and then press space. I think we're full up of fuel. Let's just check the fuel. We are good. And press space. And off we go. There are choices. I think we can go to the asteroids. I think we can go to Pluto. I'm not sure if we can go to Mercury. I think we need to probably go to Pluto next, but um, I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look when we're up there. Oh, there's two redstone blocks there. That's interesting. Redstone lights they were, weren't they? Well, that's quite funny. The rocket's got your face in it <laughs> on the left hand side. So now we've got asteroids, Venus, Mercury, Overworld and we've all been to, I think. Pluto, asteroids. Let's have a look what we've got. In, let's zoom into this one. Where is it? Just asteroids. That's not so exciting. Let's go to Pluto, I th think. I don't think we can go to Mercury. It says no tier, nothing. Right, Pluto. Let's launch a go after Pluto. What time of day is it? Oh, it's midday, so that's not too bad. So I've got to press space to slow down. If you don't press space, by the way, you do crash. And it makes a very big hole. How high are we? 600, let's go a little bit faster. Down to about 300, we're going to press the space bar again. It actually slows it down fairly fast. I did not want to wait forever, as it were. And here we go. So now we've landed on Pluto. So out we get, shift to dismount. Let's right click this. What can we get in there? We'll take the fuel first of all. Ah, oh, it didn't even take, that's interesting. Take the rocket and that. So it actually left a little bit of fuel in here. That's a shame. Oops, get out of the way. Let's just break up this lander. Funny you can break it with a clock, isn't it? So what we're gonna do first of all is find somewhere to put down a little base, I think. Oh, this is a good hill over here. I like going into hills, they're always a good place to do stuff. And let's get the RR pickaxe. The reason I like hills is you basically just have to dig a hole in the side and you don't have to go up and down. And I don't know how long the days are here, so we'll find that out in a second. Well, the gravity is quite low. So let's just dig across here like that. And one down here, I think. Oh, yeah. And then across here. And then we should be able to just build ourselves a little hole. Oops. And of course, we found a, t a tunnel or something like that. Let's just change them. this to being three by three. Because I want a small hole to start with, or somewhere that we can actually put some torches down. And then we can close it up a bit. Pluto cobblestone. I'm not sure if they've got uses for the Pluto cobblestone. We'll find out. Like that. So then we have a place to basically hide our way in. So let's just put one block down there because I think that's all right. It's not too. It's not too late yet. So let's just dig a little bit more out of here. I think that'll do for the time being. And in here we can put, let's put this down here. In here we can put our waystone, which is in this chest, I hope, if I didn't forget it. A few. Okay, so we can right click this, right, uh, put the waystone down so we come basically back here. So this is Pluto. And 
and then we need the return scroll which I forgot one thing didn't I well that's good I haven't clicked it so that's not so bad we can basically we've got to go back home because I've forgotten to get the waste the warp stone oh, brilliant now so we turn cobblestone let's just check the time of day you see this is still set to moon base so it's not too bad in terms of risks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the quarry so let's go and set up a quarry first of all I think here's going to be a good starting point so let's just and oh no, I didn't get the bits out that was not clever I didn't need that with me either right fancy forgetting the warp stone what we'll also do is we'll put in oh, the gravity is very low let's put in a marker here B for base and put it green so we know where we are save that so we need three of these one redstone torch I think that's probably about all the rest of the stuff we got enough of bit of a nuisance forgetting that I have to be honest with you the reason it's a nuisance is because um, let's just take these out of here we'll just fill in this just fill in this hole here because I've got to come back again that's not such a big deal I suppose fuel is not something we have a problem with at the moment so there we go like that where's a good place to set this up I reckon the around about here is good. Let's get the let's get the redstone torch out. Put the marker down here like this, and I think we'll go in this direction. But what time of day is it? It's still just about okay. Well, we should be okay even with the with the red with this pickaxe. We should be fine. It gives us quite a decent speed. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll walk around there so we don't have to go through that. And I don't see any mobs at the moment. Oh, there's the... I presume that's the sun. I'm not sure if we go through this or it's actually embedded in this. We'll also have to see. Oh, yes, we've just got to go through it. further right good to reach the end so we just need some cobblestone now here like that put down a torch right on the end of it fantastic and it's still not near to daytime so that's also good let's go over here I mean night time so we'll go over here it is actually quite difficult to to travel here because you even with the oops with the RR pickaxe you're still going quite slow. When you're in the air. And as it happens, I don't have any flight mechanisms yet. I can see mobs underneath the ground there. Oh, it's really freaky slow. <laughs> and the rendering is taking quite a long time too. We've nearly reached the edge of this. I can tell because of the the marker. I can see it on the on the mini map here. So we should see, if I'm not mistaken the mining bit any second now or maybe not we've probably gone past the mining bit so where is it 
It will be a bit further back, won't it? Because I didn't go that far forward. Ah, there we are. Look, I can see the marker down. I can see the marker there. Probably means we're too high. Let's just dig down a bit here. Or maybe not. You know, I didn't check the height when I was here. Oh, there we are. I can see it now. Yeah, I know it's hard to see with this particular marker. Because you can't see it so well against the dark skies. Because the dark blue is not so good. I'm actually looking quite hard here to make sure I don't go past the end of it. There we are. There's the end of that. So let's just take this down. I think this will probably... Oops, too f yeah, that block there, isn't it? <laughs> just trying to put a bl block down so quite hard. I keep right-clicking it. All right, got one. I think. One more. And we can put the marker down. I think that'll be that. Good, fantastic. So now we can head back towards base. Get the RR big X in hand. Check the time. It's still just about daylight. What I'm going to try to do is to keep to the edge here. Then I don't have to jump, you see. And I only jump when I need to, because then I go f slow. few mobs underground that's fantastic okay they're underground that don't care about them so let's just take this out and right click this good move the torch and then we can put the quarry down the so basis I want to go this way so let's get the quarry and did I bring the quarry with me no I didn't okay doesn't matter I'll put some more torches down while I'm here actually So want the quarry and a and a bag. I think that's about it. Actually, some cables. We've got some cables, filters. We've got those with us. Good. Yep, the creepers are starting to appear. So I'm going to be either very quick or not do this just yet. <laughs> Let's put the quarry into place here. So quarry goes down there like that. Oops, too near. Around the quarry goes the sterling generator. We'll put that there. On top of the quarry we'll put the ender chest. And you'll see it's already it's already mining stuff because this has got fuel in it. And we're going to take out of the oops, there's a there's a what's it? And we'll get out of the way straight away. I think we'll put that down that like oops, wrong one. A skeleton who's actually shooting at me. I'll just put that down here like this. And then we need to basically set these in both directions. But before before we do that, we're gonna go home. So let's do that. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that just yet. Because I want to make sure I block this up. Well, fancy forgetting the warp stone. Well, I think we've got everything else, so let's just go back home then. Okay. 
I'm not sure I've put that there. It's in there. Look, I should have. I should have kept that on me. So anyway, before I do anything else, before we go back again, you'll see this is making these, and I want to basically make three sets of these. At the moment, I've got it set up like this. The reason I want to make three sets of these is because um, they are. We need each one. Each sixty-four of these will make four. 64k and we need 12 in fact i think we need 11 but uh let's have a look what we've got for 64k in here six and we need yeah i think we need another uh, da -da. let's have to work it out actually basically i didn't tell i didn't get the quest reward either did i that was Let's go back quests so i think this is take flight no it's not take is it not take flight stars align and here we go so we've got our tier three rocket which we can then claim for that we get our 30x levels of experience which is uh, not outstanding and let's go done that one so then we have then this is actually opened up gallium new ways to get materials we desperately need for the new technologies so what we've got to get is 64 gallium that's no big deal we've got tons of that so it's strange this is actually in this order oh gallium arsenide we've got that's not big deal. just to, all we have to do is uh, decompose this i think unless Yes, I think we just have to decompose it, but, uh, hmm. Actually, where can we decompose this? I've got a filter in here, which is doing what? Filtering it out. I would push it into this chest, then it would come into here. Oh, that's okay. I think we can do this. Let's just try it. that's going then to going to come into here and it's going to end up in here so that's, that's fairly easy i don't think either of these are radioactive though they're both stable good i think that's all we have to do that wasn't exactly a difficult quest was it have i gone the wrong thing let's have a check that now 64 gallium Oh, it consumes them too. Detect. Claim. So we get a loop chest. Let's have a look what we get in the loop chest, because they're usually quite interesting. Ah, oh, we got an M64K ME storage cell. Fantastic. As it happens, that's a really good reward. The only thing you can't do with these things, which is a bit of a shame, you can only, put, you can only enchant them. You can't disassemble them, but I don't care. I want to just put this into here. Then we've got plenty more storage. Because storage was a problem. As you can see, this, these are already full. So let's have a look. What else do we have on our quest line now? Done. So we've got to get... Oh, interesting. And some scrap. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Venus surface rock, no big deal. I've actually been throwing it away and I don't know why we need it because it's except to throw into the recycler a recycler let's have a look at the recycler no sorry wrong bit so that's basically a compressor glowstone dirt and two iron ingots that's uh, very strange okay what's the compressor i think i've got that's fairly straightforward aluminium basic machine casing and 10 circuits do we have a, a recipe for compressor i was half think setting it up no oh yeah this was to make a waystone wasn't it and i put the waystone down oh well done I'm not sure if I'm going to need that many waste to be honest with you. 
but compressor that's all aluminium holes we've got 62 of those so we need eight four Ten electric circuits and a basic machine casing. Now I've got a few, actually let's do that from here. Sixty-four iron plates and ten of those. Do we actually have a basic machine casing set up? We got seven of them. Fantastic. And electric circuits. We got one. We need sixty-four. Do we? Actually, I can't make them in 63s, 64s, I mean. <laughs> Got quite a few with the skeleton skulls, mind you, but that's interesting. Let's have a look. Did I craft that? Oh, yes, fantastic. So that's going to work away. We're going to get those. Let me double check this. Oh, I only need 10. Okay, we need 10. Oh, that's no big. It doesn't matter anyway because they're going to get used. Any time we take out a circuit of any description, it's not a big deal. We haven't got any yet. Of course not, because it's going to take a while before these actually get prepared. What does it really need in here? Redstone. It needs redstone blocks. That's for rubber. That's no big deal. Right now it's crafting. F two four six good so they will be in the middle i think this one yep good and as soon as these get done this is doing the circuits I'll tell you what i'll do i'm going to take this off let it craft up those because that would be good to get that prepared anyway and we can put this back in again like that and then those circuits will get made and I think it's going to produce enough circuits for us because actually they don't take too long now they're only only 50 million uh, 60 million are they yeah they're only 60 million so that's not such so a and these days it's not so bad <laughs> 60 million RF okay what I also haven't checked is this let's have a look at the uses of this Detrum cells, that's presumably for um, radioactive deuterium, that's presumably for radioactive stuff. Okay, what was, the, what was the machine we needed for that centrifuge recipe? Okay, that was subsurface rock, was it? Surface rock, let's have a look at these. I'm not sure if that was that one or not. Oh, sorry, that was that one. And the uses of subsurface rock. again the same okay and then the uses of this one cobblestone we'll make pluto rock yes we no, okay and the use of the pluto rock pluto rock are to make lithium cells okay i bet we have to make a centrifuge at some stage let's have a look while we while the other bits working away let's have a look for centrifuge Thermal centrifuge or industrial centrifuge? I reckon it's probably this one. And we actually get a reward of these. Find iron plates, advanced machine casings, not too difficult. Could probably set a recipe for that. Set an extractor, not too difficult. We've already got one of those. So that industrial fuel, that is not too bad. And this one, thermal front. An electric motor that's fairly straightforward that's just basically those plus some bits and this one here and the mining laser only blank count that's a bit more tricky that's not too bad actually hmm okay and the recycler okay well what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here now and remove 
wherever it's gone to. I've got a trash can here. There was the other thing I did actually get trash away was this. Was the Venus surface rocks in here. The reason I was trashing them away is because at that time we didn't have that much storage and there wasn't that much use for them that I can see. So now we've got a use. Probably put them into the recycler, I guess. So let's have a look. Can we finish this recycler today? I've probably got enough now, actually. Let's have a look. Yep, we've got 12. Fantastic. So we've got everything we need now to make the, to make the compression. Nope, can't do it in there. Let's do it in the compressor there. Compressor. Tell you what we'll do. We'll just turn off the circuits till that's got. Oh yeah, that, and that one of course goes to this one. Let's just turn off this one a second so it goes over there to make the compressor, which is good. I'll turn the back the, um, the circuits back on over here, and then we'll turn on these back over there then we can worry about it so now we've got our compressor oh no we've got a should have a compressor where's it gone to it's gone out oh, it's not in there it sometimes takes a few seconds to get into the system But I don't see it. Where's it gone to? Hmm. It can't have gone in there. Sometimes they, fall, they end up in ME interfaces when things get full. But I don't think we're full at the moment. See, that was my basic machine casing, so I've got those set up already. Compressor. Well, that's a bit of a curiosity. Well, that's really strange. It's disappeared. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. Got some tanks in here, by the way. Because I fill up this with ordinary tanks uh, between episodes. Because uh, well, well, we can put those into here. I probably should throw these away. I don't have any uses for them. But I got you. Get end up with quite a lot of tanks, and you can do six at a time or five at a time. Yeah, five at a time. I'll just shove them in here. And then they get taken through and processed and put down here. And what I was doing, that she was going to change my oxygen tank. What made me think of that? Because I'm going to go back to. Now I've got my warp crystal. I can go back. Let's put that up there. If I put it in that slot, it'll be the last one. So it'll be in the machine when we come back again. Oh. Well, I don't know what's happened to that compressor. It's very strange. It's, I'm not not seeing it, am I? I'll have to look for it. Anyway, I think it's probably about the time of the end of the episode. We're just reaching 30 minutes. So I'll see you next time when we're going to finish this particular quest. So until then, bye for now.